Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In today's video, we are going to talk about Microsoft Entra. We will discuss what Microsoft Entra is, what features and services are included in Microsoft Entra, and then I'll walk you through all the options within Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Identity and access management is the foundation of your entire security posture. When we talk about a cloud-based identity and access management solution, the only name that comes into our mind is Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory provides various services to manage identities and to control their access. However, Microsoft Entra includes identity governance and permission management capabilities that takes the identity and access management to the next level. Microsoft Entra is a full suite that lets you manage identities, access management, credentials verification, and permissions. Currently, there are five products in Microsoft Entra suite. Microsoft Entra ID or Microsoft Entra Identity that was earlier called as Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Entra Permissions Management, Microsoft Entra Identity Governance, Microsoft Entra Workload Identities, and Microsoft Entra Verified IDs. Now you might have a question that if Azure Active Directory has become Microsoft Entra ID, then is it going away? So the answer is no. Azure Active Directory is not getting deprecated or removed. Only the name is changed from Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. You can still find all the features of Azure Active Directory in Microsoft Entra ID under Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So remember this, Azure Active Directory is now Microsoft Entra ID. Apart from this change, there are a few more changes that are happening in Azure Active Directory. For example, if we talk about Azure AD licenses, Azure AD Free License will be renamed to Microsoft Entra ID Free. Azure AD Premium P1 license will be renamed to Microsoft Entra ID P1. Azure AD P2 license will be renamed to Microsoft Entra ID P2. And Azure AD External Identities will be renamed to Microsoft Entra External ID. As per Microsoft official documentation, the display name of the licenses will change on 1st October 2023. Apart from these changes, you will also find few other changes in the display name of the features. For example, Azure AD Access Token Authentication will be called Microsoft Entra Access Token Authentication. Azure AD Account will be called as Microsoft Entra Account. Azure AD Admin Center will be called Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Azure AD Application Proxy will be called Microsoft Entra Application Proxy and so on. There are few more features as well where display name is changed. You can find the article link in the description of this video. So you can go through that to get more insights on this. So now that you know what Microsoft Entra is, let's go to Microsoft Entra Admin Center and explore all the options. To access Microsoft Entra Admin Center, you will go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center and then you will go to Identity. If you want to directly open Microsoft Entra Admin Center, go to Browser and type entra.microsoft.com. This way also you can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center. And if you want to access Azure Active Directory, go to Browser, type portal.azure.com. And from here you can access Azure Active Directory. Here you can see it says Azure Active Directory is becoming Microsoft Entra ID. And if you go to this article, this article will tell you what changes are being done in Azure Active Directory. I mentioned this link in description of this video. So the first option in Microsoft Entra Admin Center is Identity, which is Microsoft Entra ID. As we discussed earlier, Azure Active Directory will be renamed as Microsoft Entra ID. So all the options that you can see in Azure Active Directory are migrated to Identity under Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So if you go to Overview, you can see name of your organization. You can see tenant ID. You can see how many users you have in your tenant, how many groups you have in your tenant, how many applications are registered in your Azure AD, and how many devices are joined or registered with Azure AD tenant. Next is users. If you go to all users, you can see all the user accounts. Those are created in your tenant. You can create a new user or you can invite an external user. You can open any user account properties. You can edit properties by clicking edit properties. So all these options are similar to Azure Active Directory, but there are few new features added in Microsoft Entra that we are going to discuss shortly. On the left, you can run audit logs. You can run sign-in logs. 
you can assign custom security attributes you can assign roles you can manage groups for these users you can add these users to applications you can manage licenses you can manage devices and so on next you have deleted users if you have deleted a user account you can recover it from here or you can permanently delete that user account if you want to learn azure active directory in depth i have mentioned a link in description of this video for the playlist for azure active directory i have covered all the topics in that playlist next is user settings from here you can manage settings for user accounts and the guest user access you can control if users can register applications in azure ad if users can create security groups in azure ad tenant you can manage guest user access and other user level settings next is groups if you go to all groups here you can see all the groups created in your tenant you can manage their attributes you can create a new group you can go to deleted groups and from here you can recover the deleted groups or you can permanently delete the groups and under group settings you can manage the settings for the groups next is devices if you want to see how many devices you have in your tenant those are registered or joined with your azure ad tenant you can go to all devices and you can manage all these devices from here and if you want to manage bitlocker keys you can click bitlocker keys options and you can manage those keys from here next we can see applications under applications if you go to enterprise applications you can see how many applications are registered in your tenant you can create new application from here or you can manage the existing applications next is roles and admins from here you can manage the administrator roles you can assign or remove roles for the user accounts next is billing under billing you can manage your licenses if you go to all products you can see how many licenses you have in your tenant you can see how many are assigned and how many licenses are available and you can manage license related features from here next is settings under settings you can see how many domains you have in your tenant you can manage your domains from here and under mobility you can set mdm score for intune if you click microsoft intune you will see all these settings from where you can manage the mdm scope next is protection under protection you have identity protection from where you can manage risky users and risky sign ins under conditional access you can manage conditional access policies then you have security center identity secure score multi factor authentication authentication method and so on next option is identity governance from here you can manage access reviews privileged identity management and life cycle workflows life cycle workflows are used to manage life cycle of a user account for example when a user joins organization what resources he needs or when a user is moved from one department to another he might require more access to the resources and when a user leaves the organization then you need to revoke the access so these three life cycles can be managed using life cycle workflows but to use this feature you need entra id governance license next is external identities from here you can manage external sharing settings cross tenant access settings you can manage identity providers and so on next option is user experiences from here you can manage company branding you can change the layout of the sign in page you can add your company's logo you can change the theme color you can add terms and conditions page or you can add the contact information for your support team next is hybrid management from here you can manage azure ad connect and azure ad cloud sync and then we have monitoring and health from here you can access audit logs sign in logs provisioning logs and other reports the next section in microsoft entra admin center is protection this protection option is similar to protection under identity so from here you can manage conditional access security center secure score multi factor authentication authentication methods you can reset passwords and so on next section is identity governance under this section we have entitlement management this feature is used to manage identity and access life cycle you can automate the request workflows access assignments you can review the access and remove the access as well moreover under this section you can manage access reviews you can manage privileged identity management and life cycle workflows next is verifiable credentials microsoft introduced a new feature in microsoft entra that is called verified identities this feature allows you to issue and verify the credentials this feature gives a complete control to the users so that they can manage 
who can view and share their verifiable credentials. This is also called decentralized identity. Like in Azure AD, we store users and their credentials on a centralized place. We do not have control over it. But using verified identities, we can control the credentials flow. Next is permissions management. Microsoft Entra Permissions Management is a cloud infrastructure entitlement management solution or CIEM. This feature provides overall visibility to the permissions. Those are assigned to the identities. For example, it provides information about the excessive permissions assigned to the users, resource permissions. It also detects if the permissions are unused. So it basically discover, remediate and monitor the permissions. And next option is global secure access. Global secure access is used to manage network access policies and configurations. Nowadays, users are working from anywhere, be it office or from home. Global secure access works as a gateway that allows users to access company resources from any location. Global secure access includes two features. Microsoft Entra Internet Access and Microsoft Entra Private Access. Microsoft Entra Internet Access is a cloud-based solution that is also called Secure Web Gateway. This basically protects the users from threats those are found on the public network. And Microsoft Entra Private Access uses Azure Application Proxy Access Model. This is used to access the applications those are hosted in on-premises without requiring a VPN connection. So this is what we have in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.